As we go further along in the course, what we're going to look at are mediators of different chemical processes inside of the cell. One of the main mediators are enzymes, which are proteins. And so all proteins are, or they are polymers of uh, polymers, so we can either think of uh, proteins, or sometimes we call them peptides, depending on the size. And so these are polymers of a monomer, and that monomer is known as an amino acid. So amino acids make up, uh, are the monomers of proteins, they make up proteins, okay? So one of the first things we're going to look at is the structure, the, the general structure of amino acids. And so if we just look at the name, amino acid, it indicates two things about structure. One, there's an amine group, and two, there's an acid group. So let's look at a general structure. So I'll draw it like this. The amine group, just for simplicity, we'll draw on the left-hand side, and the carboxylic acid group we'll draw on the right-hand side. And then there are 20 different amino acids uh, that we usually discuss, and they, the, what differentiates them is their R group, their side chain. So this comes off what's known as the alpha carbon, which shows, which has chirality. So this is a chiral seven, the center. This carbon has four different groups attached to it. And we denote the side group generally as R. And so we denote the, the uh, again, <clears throat> coming from organic, we denote the stereochemistry. We use this wedge to indicate that this bond is coming out of the plane, of the board in this case. And then we have dash lines to indicate the fourth atom that's connected, and that's a hydrogen, okay? So we call this an alpha amine. because it is attached to the alpha carbon of the amino acid. And then by this convention, we call this the alpha carboxylic acid. Okay? Now, we want to look at the pKa's of this. So the pK of the alpha amine for the 20 canonical amino acids ranges from 8.72 to 10.7. Whereas the pK for the carboxylic acid group, uh, for, again, for the 20 canonical amino acids, ranges from 1.8 to 2.35. Okay? So what that means is that the protonation states of these two groups is going to be dependent on the pH of the surrounding environment. Now, physiological pH tends to occur at pH 7.3. And I should note that physiological, uh, so uh, bacteria or other cells can be happy at a range of pHs, but we tend to think of pH, uh, physiological pH surrounding around a pH of 7.3. So we'll use that as our standard for this class, although uh, be aware that um, organisms can be happy at different pHs, okay? So this pH of 7.3 lies in between, uh, below the pKa range for the amine and above the pKa range for the carboxylic acid. So looking at the mean, the amine, what that means is that since the pKa is below this range, typically under these conditions, the amine will be protonated and carry a positive charge. Whereas for the carboxylic acid, the pKa is well above 
the range of 1.8 to 2.35. And so since this pH is above that pKa range, this is going to be deprotonated. Whoops, wrong color. And this, will, this acid will be deprotonated, it'll be a carboxylate. So from here, we also need to look at the stereochemistry of the alpha carbon. So we can assign, uh, again, remember uh, from, uh, from organic chemistry, that we can assign uh, different stereo configurations to this carbon. And one convention that we can use is the RS convention, OK? And so just as a refresher, the way we do this is that we assign priorities uh, to all these based on the molecular weights of what's connected to the chiral carbon. So um, we look at, we start at the carbon, we look uh, at each of the atoms connected. So the R group typically, what